We have this picture that God is up there somewhere. And we're running around down here on earth all alone with all of the people who don't know Jesus. And the thing that makes us most uncomfortable isn't the idea of giving up our money or even giving up parts of our lifestyle. The thing that makes Christians most uncomfortable is the idea of sharing their faith. So often we approach it like God watches us from a distance to see how we'll do instead of actually being right in the middle of it with us. Sometimes we go too far. Take up your cross and follow me. You hate God, so shut up. But a lot of the time we don't go far enough. I mean, I don't just walk up to people and start talking about those things. Evangelism? I think it would make me feel really uncomfortable. Awkward. They probably wouldn't receive anything I had to say. I, I would not do it, honestly. And somewhere, maybe in the middle between these two extremes, is what Jesus had in mind for the Great Commission. I find people who try to force their point of view on other people to be um, the kind of people I would avoid. I would regard them with great uh, skepticism. I don't think any religion should be forced upon anyone. Well, the people that force their point of view on other individuals are weak-minded, trying to live vicariously through somebody else. I mean, I understand why they do it, because people think they're right. They're manipulative and trying to force something that they should not be doing. Forcing your opinion on other people, I mean, that may be right for you, but you know, may not be right for them. No other person should tell me what to think or believe, and nor should any person tell any other person what they should think or believe. We've heard in church our whole life, stand up for what's right, defend the faith, defend the faith. I believe evangelism and sharing Christ is the job of every single believer. To be an ambassador is not a suggestion, it's a command. Behold, the Lord hand is not short. The Bible says today is the day of salvation. Harden not your heart. Repent, The Bible says... That's the kind of mindset we, we're taught, these sort of soldier mindsets, dismantle uh, the world's arguments. The Lord Jesus shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels. Uh, I've, I, I grew up a uh, Christian and I'm <laughs> not interested. I think it can be very intrusive and upsetting and not respectful. You have a gift. You have a, you have a gift of being really annoying. Do I think there's somebody out there overlooking you? No, I don't believe that. For me, I've never understood how I could be inspired by that, by being approached in that way. I think if someone's overly bold, I'd probably use the word foolish. I mean, Aristotle said for every, every moral virtue, there's two extremes. There's, there's where you don't say anything, where you're coward. And then there's foolishness where you just rush in. And in the middle is courage where you're willing to step outside of your comfort zone, say things you might not normally say, but also not just foolishly rushing in and doing it without wisdom and without discernment. I wrote a book called uh, Evangelism is a Lifestyle. Basically what I was trying to say was yeah, people are moving away and they're not going to just respond to a salesman approach to the gospel. They're going to need uh, some sowing and cultivating uh, before there can be reaping. I think this idea of evangelism being presenting the gospel and reaping really is a product of our evangelical culture over the last 150 years. These evangelists, uh, like D.L. Moody and like Billy Graham and everybody in, in, included in between, would present the gospel and call for a decision. And uh, a lot of people really put their faith in Christ. There'd been a lot of sowing, a lot of cultivating, a lot of people with a lot of biblical heritage, and they just never realized that they had to make a choice and, and entrust themselves to Christ. They really contributed to a lot in, in, the, in the body of Christ just by, by reaping. 
and, and so much so that that came to be synonymous with evangelism, reaping. And so a lot of churches have picked up on that mentality, but not everybody is on the verge of decision. And it leaves an awful lot of people just out of the loop when we think that way.